Do you know lawsuit going to end? An XRP going to hit 22,000 US dollar. But how? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. The protracted bra over whether XRP is a security could drag on into 2023, but the company and crypto advocates see increasingly encouraging signs. There's been more than a year since the SEC stunned the technology world by suing Ripple. Kinky Golf the most closely watched legal battle in crypto. The case in which the SEC accused the crypto powerhouse of violating securities laws has morphed into a protracted brawl. But the future of crypto regulation potentially at stake. But not indefinitely because there is good news the judge presiding over the SEC lawsuit against Ripple denied an SEC motion to reconsider the deliberate process privilege regarding a set of emails and draft versions of a speech made by then-SEC Director William Henman back in June of 2018. In other words, the SEC will now have to release these emails and the draft versions of the 2018 speech. Earlier in the month, nonprofit organization, Empowerment Oversight, publicized a separate set of internal SEC emails that contained evidence of improper conduct by SEC officials involved in the Ripple lawsuit and exposed a conflict of interest and the emails released by Empower Oversight. Former SEC Director William Henman is warned about a potential conflict of interest with the lawsuit against Ripple. His previous employer Simpson Thatcher is an organization that has worked to promote Ethereum. Empowerment Oversight has said that yet to be released email draft versions relating to him as 2018 speech. I demonstrate that the SEC was selectively enforcing regulations in the cryptocurrency industry. Moreover, they may provide that him unknowingly had a conflict of interest when the lawsuit against Ripple was initially. One defense lawyer familiar with the case said the judge's decision marked a very big one for Ripple, before the ruling that the SEC would have to turn over these documents. John Deaton, a defense attorney representing 65,000 XRP holders, on the side of Ripple in the lawsuit said that he did not think the SEC would not turn over these documents. The battle will likely drag on into next year after Ripple and the SEC agree on a schedule for the next phase of the case. Filings and hearings on motions for summary judgment will extend till December. At that point, a federal judge will either decide the case or have it go to trial. And now it looks like a resolution will come in 2023. Ripple General Counselor Stuart Alderati said in a tweet. In the battle, which began December of 2020, centers on the SECS claim that Ripple failed to register roughly $1.4 billion worth of XRP as securities. The lawsuit outcome could have far-reaching implications for crypto. The SEC prevails. It could change how crypto companies operate, setting a precedent that digital assets they offer users must be subject to the strict reporting and registration rules that apply to securities. If Ripple wins, it would be a significant victory for crypto. When the industry is overgrowing and facing more intense regulatory scrutiny on multiple fronts, the drawn-out court battle has been frustrating for Ripple, which has accused the SEC of legal bullying and delaying tactics, already suggested Ripple had no choice but to agree to the extended schedule. To those asking if this is a joint filing, Yes, it is, he said, but based on the SEC track record, if we didn't agree to this, the next iteration would have likely been even longer. Cher Ginsler preaches justice delayed is justice denied. When firms defend themselves from SEC bullying, investigations, and inquiries, he added referring to the SEC head Gary Ginsler is November 2021 speech. He promised that the agency would focus on bringing matters to resolution swiftly. But the Ripple case is quite the contrast, and the SEC, using every tactic at their disposal to keep this cloud of uncertainty over the market, he said just as delayed indeed. The SEC does not comment beyond public filings spokesperson told Protocol. There are other speculations. However, according to a closely followed crypto expert Ripple Labs hopes to resolve its lawsuit with the SEC by September or October. 2022. Based on documents made public during the first weekend of March Jeremy Hogan, 
an attorney who has been covering the lawsuit, said that Ripple aims to conclude the case this year. Hogan have predicted that the suit will be completed in September. The recent document shows Ripple asking for the pending class action to be scheduled from August 26th to November 18th. I think Rebel believes that when the SEC class concludes September and October, and this class action will end because the collateral estoppel hugging stated, criminal defendants are protected from being tried for the same matter more than once, by collateral estoppel at Commonwealth Legacy. During an interview with Fox Business Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, so that the SEC had a tough case against the enterprise blockchain company. As of August, 2018, there were 47 million XRP coins in circulation. It is the native cryptocurrency of Ripple, the company that created cryptocurrency payment system. The XRP is Ripple's digital asset built for global payments, implying you arrival the banking system for money transfer. Retail customers and banks alike could benefit from XRP's low cost of sending money, with Ripple's minuscule transaction costs and transaction finality of fewer than 5 seconds. It offers a fundamental value proposition. The battle has unfolded at a critical time for crypto, and the industry has gone through dramatic changes since the SEC sued in 2020. From the industry's rapid growth and the rise of new players and new asset types like NFTs, to heightened regulatory and political screws of crypto in critical markets, including the US, Europe, China, and the UK. The Ripple lawsuit is an indictment of the SEC's regulation by enforcement approach, Ottawa told Protocol, CEO Bread Going House voicing warning that regulators like the SEC hold the US back from crypto's upside potential. SEC seems perfectly content to let the US fall further behind, all in protecting new jurisdiction at the expense of US citizens. He said in a tweet, for crypto skeptics and critics, including prominent figures like Senator Elizabeth Warren, and a range of legal financial experts. The Ripple suit is about reigning in a fast-spreading trend that could seriously undermine laws meant to protect investors in the financial system. Crypto is explosive growth over the past two years have triggered a strong push for more transparency and accountability from companies that offer an expanding selection of digital assets and services. Amid mounting fears of instability that can lead to a financial crash, the SEC argues that XRP is essentially an illegal security offering, and that Ripple did not provide the type of financial and managerial information required by law. Stephen Diamond, a veteran Silicon Valley lawyer and law professor at Santa Clara University said Ripple essentially took people's fiat currency, handed people something called XRP and said the value of your XRP will go up or down depending on whether we're successful at building out the use case for XRP. Distributed Ledger, the core technology in crypto, he argued is a con game being played by crypto to evade regulation by the SEC and others. But Ripple has consistently rejected the SEC argument about XRP, which it maintains is a utility token for payments, not a speculative asset that it was issued before Ripple's founding and that Ripple never sold XRP as an investment. There was never a contract for investment alternatives. Owning a unit XRP provides no right title or interest in Ripple or any distribution of profits from Ripple. Late in the term of former SEC Chair Jay Clayton, the lawsuit's filings had a devastating effect on Ripple, sending XRP as market value crashing a December of 2020, already portrayed the legal action as a rug pull by the SEC. That wiped out $15 billion in XRP coins value the day the suit was filed, hurting the very people, the SEC purposes to protect. XRP is bounced back from the December 2020 crash, although the currency has fluctuated sharply as the crypto market entered another period of sharp volatility. Ripple also says the SEC lawsuit has not slowed Ripple's growth internationally whereas cross-border payment technology has continued to make gains. Our business has been thriving outside of the U.S. auto ruddy set. In January, the company announced that it was buying back shares from a $200 million Series C round in 2019. Garlinghouse said business was doing well despite these crazy headwinds, but Ripple has stepped up the pressure on the SEC criticizing the agency's decision to sue. Perhaps a Ripple is most compelling line of attack is directly that former SEC Director William Henman's 2018 speech. Where you said Ether is not a security, his comments provoked the Raleigh and Ether's price and endorsed the crypto industry's position. 
Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.